done so yet, please pause the video and try the question for yourself before moving on. Before we begin to solve this question, it might be a good idea to label the charges with some letters so that we can keep track of them. So for example, the negative 4 nanocoulomb charge we could label as A, and then the next charge we could call B, and the third charge we could arbitrarily call C. Now in order to calculate the electric field produced by any point charge, we have to use the following equation. We have the magnitude of the electric field equaling the Coulomb constant multiplied by the absolute value of the charge divided by a particular distance. Now that distance will be the distance from your charge, let's say we had a positive charge, to wherever it is you're trying to calculate the electric field. So if you were attempting to calculate the electric field at a distance of let's say 2 meters from a positive charge, then the R value would be 2 meters. There's an additional background fact we have to take into consideration before we begin the calculation. We must remember that a positive charge produces an electric field that emanates away from that positive charge in all directions. So we could draw a series of arrows in this fashion that represent the electric field that is produced by the positive charge. On the other hand, a negative charge produces an electric field that points towards the negative charge. And we can draw a series of arrows in this fashion to represent the electric field produced by the negative charge. These two facts are very important when we go to calculate the electric field, so please keep them in mind. What we will need to do in order to calculate the complete electric field at this position marked here is to use the electric field equation three times. Once for charge A, another time for charge B, and a third time for charge C. We can begin with charge A. Now to calculate the electric field produced by charge A, we're going to need to know how many coulombs are on that charge, and also the distance from that charge to wherever it is that we are interested in calculating the electric field. Now of course the charge is easy because it was given to us as negative 4 nanocoulombs. When we plug that into the equation, we have to remember to change nanocoulombs into coulombs. And that's pretty easy because all you need to do is to multiply by 10 to the negative 9. So don't plug negative 4 into the formula, you'll have to plug negative 4 times 10 to the minus 9 because then you'll have it in the standard unit of coulombs. Now the distance from charge A to the point that we're interested in can be rather easily determined because we know that this distance to the y-axis is half of a meter and then we're going an additional 2 meters out along the positive x-axis. So that would give us a total distance of 2.5 meters. So we can go ahead and plug in the known values. Notice for the value of k, we have substituted 8.99 times 10 to the 9th. That's the standard value for the Coulomb constant. We can pick up our calculators and crunch this number, noticing that the absolute value will leave the quantity overall positive. And you should get this value. The unit for the electric field is newtons per coulomb. But now we have to talk about whether this electric field should indeed stay positive or if in fact we have to call it negative. And this is a very important step. Now, we have to be careful because it actually doesn't really depend on whether the charge itself was negative. A lot of students make the mistake of automatically putting a negative sign in here perhaps because it's a negative charge so they think it's negative. Well, that may or may not be true. What we have to do is the following. It's a good idea to just imagine that you were standing at this location right here. And of course that location is important because that's where we are trying to calculate the electric field. Earlier in this problem we stated that electric field lines will point towards negative charges. So if we're trying to calculate the electric field produced by this charge, it makes sense that the electric field produced by that charge would point towards it because it's a negative charge. Now, if you have a vector pointing in the left direction, the value of that vector has to be negative. So indeed, this will take on a negative value because the electric field is pointing in the negative direction, a very important point to be made. So there is the electric field produced by charge A. We're going to set it aside and move on to calculating the electric field produced by charge B. And to do that, we would use the same formula again, but this time we'll plug in the value for the charge on B and also the distance from charge B to the location that we're interested in. Now in that case we can see from the diagram the distance from charge B to the location that we're interested in is that positive 2 meters along the x-axis. Again when you plug the charge in don't forget to change the nanocoulombs into coulombs by multiplying it by 10 to the minus 9. And when you crunch that number on your calculator you should obtain 11.2375 newtons per coulomb. Once again, we have to decide whether this stays positive or whether we have to put a negative sign there. 
we can recall that we're basically standing at this position here at positive two meters along the x-axis. This time the electric field that we're calculating is being produced by a positive charge. We noted earlier that a positive charge will produce electric fields that point away from the positive charge. So if we're standing here, then that positive charge B is gonna produce an electric field line that's pointing away from the positive charge. And therefore its value will be indeed positive. So we're gonna leave this as positive 11.2375 newtons per coulomb, and that is the electric field produced by charge B. That's another result that we'll hold on to. And now finally, we'll calculate the electric field produced by charge C. Basically, all we have to do is modify the subscripts and the values. It's going to be very similar to the calculation we just performed for charge B. I suppose one thing that might be tricky would be the distance from charge C to the point that we're interested in. We know that the distance from the origin to charge C is 0.8 meters, and we're trying to calculate an electric field out at two meters. So hopefully it's clear from the diagram that the distance from here to here would have to be 1.2 meters. That way, the 1.2 meters plus the 0.8 meters would equal the two meters. And the electric field produced by charge C turns out to be approximately 18.73 newtons per coulomb. One more time, we have to decide if it's positive or negative. Well charge C has a positive value. So if we were standing at this point, the electric field line would have to point away from it, just like all electric field lines point away from other positive charges. So in this case, away from the positive charge would again be along the positive x-axis, therefore we must leave it as a positive value. Now, all of these electric field vectors are pointing along the x direction, so to get the grand total, all we have to do is sum them. And when you do that, when you add them all together, you should get approximately positive 24.2 newtons per coulomb. Now the fact that it came out as a positive result means that the net electric field, the overall electric field at this point is pointing to the right in the positive x direction. So depending on how your professor or homework system wants you to submit the answer, you could say to the right, you could say along the positive x-axis, you could say east perhaps, you could say an angle of zero degrees if you want to get really fancy, but all of those ways would be basically saying the total electric field is aimed towards the right with a value of 24.2 newtons per coulomb. So thanks very much for taking the time to watch this video. If you liked it, please subscribe so you could stay tuned for additional videos. And if you'd like, you can send in your own question to the email address listed on the screen.